my name is Joe. You have found yourself once again at the Joe is Hungry channel where we occasionally do food polls. Listen to what the people have to say right here within the city limits of Fairmount, Georgia. Before we move on, let's check out the ever popular birthday shout outs. Cole, Ashton, Donald, and Josh, Kai, Amanda, Owen, thank you all for supporting the channel. Caleb, Caleb, and Owen, Adam and Jameson, I would like to wish each and every one of you a very special Joe is Hungry birthday. I would like to thank everybody that filled out this week's food poll because you're sending me to Chipotle to check out their returning smoked brisket menu. According to Chipotle, the brisket comes from responsibly raised beef, whatever that means, seared in a grill with smoked serrano and chipotle chili peppers, then coated in Chipotle's own brisket sauce. This limited time menu lineup consists of the smoked brisket burrito salad, the smoked brisket quesadilla, the smoked brisket taco, and the smoked brisket burrito, which is exactly what we're doing today. The smoked brisket burrito and its recommended configuration configuration, which is what we're ordering, consists of smoked beef brisket, white rice, fresh tomato salsa, roasted chili corn salsa, sour cream and cheese on a warm flour tortilla. Each one of these should be a full meal for the entire day with 1,215 calories. I have the full nutritional information on the screen and in the description below. Before drinks and sides, be prepared to shell out $12.30 before taxes in Georgia. You may ask, are these things worth the chunk of change that you're going to have to shell out? Never fear, because here at the Joe is Hungry channel, we are going to determine that later in the video when we do the Joe is Hungry weight test, calculate the actual out the door fast food price for ounce. But before we do any of that, we're going to have to see if this is scooped up fresh, served piping hot when we roll the pickup window at Chipotle in Calhoun, Georgia. I've got my order in. Let's see what they got. I've got my burritos. Let's pull off to the side and do the Joe is Hungry temperature test. Burrito number one is 105.4 degrees Fahrenheit. Burrito number two is 90.1 degrees Fahrenheit. And burrito number three is 87.1 degrees Fahrenheit. If you've been watching this channel for any length of time, I like my temperatures at 140 degrees or above. I know they're mixing hot and cold ingredients, but this is probably some of the lowest temperatures I've ever recorded for hot food since I've been making reviews. So obviously, if you can't tell, today, Chipotle, Calhoun, Georgia, you fail the Joe is Hungry temperature test. Now it's time to take one of these apart, prepare for a burrito autopsy, take a peek inside, see what makes these things tick, head back to the studios and do the Joe is Hungry weight test. Well, we didn't do so well on the temperature test. If this is supposed to be a cold cut burrito, which I don't think it is, you're in the danger zone. If it's supposed to be warm, you're in the danger zone. So Chipotle, me and you, we're kind of getting off on the wrong foot here. But I'm gonna be fair because I'm gonna take off for the packaging. In other words, I'm gonna set the chair on the scales. Burrito number one weighs in at one pound, 1.30 ounces, or 491 grams. Burrito number two weighs in at one pound, 1.15 ounces, or 486 grams. Burrito number three weighs in at one pound, 1.80 ounces, or 504 grams. Well, the weights are pretty close. So today, Chipotle, Calhoun, Georgia, at least you pass the Joe is Hungry consistency weight test. Well, Chipotle, they don't give us any serving weights, so I can't really check anything there. So that only leaves one more thing, and that is to add them all up, average them out, do the math, and you come up with a middle of the road, 71 cents an ounce. So now it's time to do the next phase, the one and only, the Joe is Hungry big reveal.
is what it actually looks like when you get it out of the window. And this is what they would have you believe it's gonna look like. This is what it looks like when they actually give it to you. And this is what it's supposed to look like. We've seen what it looks like and we saw how much it was. As far as this and your ad photos, I can see very little, if any resemblance. In fact, they didn't even take time to fold it the same way. What a shame. If any of y'all out there know anything about this, leave it in the comments. If anybody out there thinks that I wouldn't count this, pick all the meat out, think again. I have the autopsy photo right up here on the screen. I also took time to weigh the meat alone. 1.3 ounces compared to what is essentially a 17 ounce burrito is not a very good ratio. I think you can do better than that. Try putting some meat in it. Well, that only leaves one more test, and everybody knows what it is. It's the Joe is Hungry bite test. So it is bite test, engage. It doesn't even make sense why we try to fight it. Every time that we touch, the room caught on fire. We could blame it on the wine, but we know that we will both be lying. I wish I didn't want you. I was doing just fine the way that it was. Then you had me these emotions, didn't want them, but I guess that I'm stuck with them. They could go away, but I know they won't, and I should let it be. But I'm gonna die. Chipotle, all I have to say about that is, where's the meat? To put it simply, this is a cold veggie burrito, nothing more. It has a very slight hint of heat and a tart flavor coming from the sour cream and the salsa, which is the dominant flavor in the burrito. If and when you can find the meat, it is tough and flavorless. What a shame. Before I can give this thing a score, I would like to do a little bit of trans-dimensional research, get Shadow Joe's take, and do the Joe is Hungry Sneak-a-Doodle Bite. Sneak-a-Doodle Bite number one. Sneak-a-Doodle Bite number two. Sneak-a-Doodle Bite number three. Shadow, Shadow, oh. don't forget. Oh yeah, okay, appreciate it. Will Neff. We, both of us, we want to wish you a very happy birthday. Oh, man. And good luck. Now on with this video. Sneak-a-doodle bite number three. If there's any meat in here, it is poorly distributed, and I'm not finding it. It's that, or they're just almost none. Most of what I'm tasting is cold rice, cold corn, some other miscellaneous vegetables. It's not a bad flavor, and maybe it's meant to be a cold burrito. From the description though, I don't pick up on that. So, let's go ahead and give this thing a score. If you don't know my scale, my scale is one to 10, nine being the best. Anything above nine is a once in a lifetime experience and almost never achieve. Five and down is that slippery slope to the pits and depths of fast food hell. So let's go ahead and give this the number that it truly deserves. Chipotle. It is not a bad tasting burrito. I'll give you that much. But as far as a smoked brisket burrito, today you did not deliver no how, no way. So today, I'm gonna go 4.8. That is my number, this is my review, and hopefully I will see you in the next video.